Ah. Yeah, I guess I cooked this a little too long. It was a lot bigger when I put it in the oven. Just thought I'd get a little of this white meat before the relatives arrived. Don't you love Thanksgiving? It was my mom's favorite holiday. She loved to cook. She'd started about a month before. She'd cook a lot of stuff. Sometimes she'd cook seven, eight hundred pounds of one item, sweet potatoes. And then she'd try to push them on you during the meal. There's sweet potatoes, Louie. There's more in the oven. There's some in the garage. The rest are at the Johnson's. Hey, did your mom ever do this? You're finished with the meal. You're into the dessert. All of a sudden, she stands up and screams, the cranberries! I forgot them. Get them, Louie. They're on the second shelf. Mom, we're done with that part of the meal. And you know you're getting older, too, when the first thing you do after you eat is look for a place to lay down. <laughs> well, have a happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Enjoy the show. Oh, my. Will you look at that? Still still look at this. What a mess. Yeah, right. You're probably wondering how a perfectly normal Anderson family Thanksgiving turned into this four-alarm disaster. Who knows the Heimlich maneuver? If only cousin Sophie could see this. It's an interesting story. It all started the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. You got to get dressed. The pageant's about to start. Why do I have to play the turkey every year? I want to be Squanto. You're the only one who knows the turkey's line. Geez, you play the turkey once, you get typecast for life. Please, Louie, next year you can be Squanto, principal's honor. They're going to tease me. No one will tease you. They'll gobble! No one will gobble at you just one more year, please. I'll bake bread for the harvest celebration. I'll bring corn, even though I already taught the pilgrims how to grow it. I'm not sure why I was invited. Guess I'll have to wing it. Hey, Loogie, give it a gobble. <laughs> I'm very disappointed, Louis. What do you have to say for yourself? I told you they'd tease me. You hear all the gobbling? That's no reason to go hurling yourself into the audience. We've got four kids in the infirmary with turkey bites. I tripped. Now, how are all those kids supposed to learn about the meaning of Thanksgiving? They could read a book. On Monday morning, you will deliver an oral report to the entire student body on the meaning of Thanksgiving. But I don't know the meaning of Thanksgiving. You will by Monday, or it's two weeks' detention. I had five days to find the meaning of Thanksgiving. I figured I better get started right away. Here, meet the amateur. Oh, sponge. Mom, just hypothetically, uh, what's the meaning of Thanksgiving? Oh, everyone knows that. It's pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Oh, sure. On the one hand, you've got pumpkin filling. On the other, you've got pie crust. Two entirely separate entities. But when combined and baked to 350 degrees, they make a single thing of beauty. It's what Thanksgiving's all about. You know, it says nothing about that in the history books. Louis. Take a nice, long look at the meaning of Thanksgiving. All right, Mom. Thanks a lot. Once again, you've been quite a big help. You're welcome, dear. Yeah. I could just see myself telling the entire student body that the meaning of Thanksgiving was pumpkin pie. It was time to bark up another tree. How about a little help here, Danny? Yeah, I'll be right with you. Thanks a million, you cheapskate. Hey, Dan. Go a second. Oh, sure. Don't mind me. Don't help a guy out. I'm just doing a little yoga here. Well, me and my friends were sitting around the other day talking about the meaning of Thanksgiving. And we figured if anyone knew, it would be you. Well, it's true. I am a fountain of knowledge. <laughs> meaning of Thanksgiving, huh? Yeah, it's like any other holiday. It comes from the Latin, uh, loosely translated. It means uh, a lot of annoying people in your house. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I'm serious. That's how the whole thing got started. Whenever annoying people showed up at your house, you call it a holiday. Louie, Andy, help me set the table. No, I'm busy. 
grandma's. Now keep her away from the windows. She gets cold. Cousin Keith. Now he can't sit near grandma because he still owes her money. Aunt Sylvia. Now she won't sit near cousin Joey because of that time he insulted her wig. It took over an hour. But we just about finished the Anderson family jigsaw puzzle when... Uncle Sammy put him at the head of the table. Sammy! Who invited that clown? Andy. My dad couldn't stand Uncle Sam. It wasn't just that he was my mom's brother or that he was never in the military. What he really hated was that Sammy was rich and he never let dad forget it. What's the matter? Didn't the Queen of England invite him this year? They don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Which, of course, gets us back to the unanswered question. What's the meaning of Thanksgiving? Anyone? I got just a seat for good old Uncle Sammy. His own private dining room. I know I got. Andy, Sammy can sit next to me. You know you really should give Sammy a chance. What are you talking about? Every Thanksgiving he insists on cutting the turkey like it's his house. Well, he did loan us the down payment. I paid him back. What does he want, blood? That star he sells every year. Who cares if his great-grandfather swamped the decks of the Mayflower? The show-off? There's your meaning of Thanksgiving, Larry. Once a year, you get together with all your relatives, and you try to make them think your life is better than theirs. Yeah. No, we're getting somewhere. Every year, our Thanksgiving got bigger. So, every year, Mom had to get up earlier Get that turkey in the oven. When's it supposed to pop? Christmas? So what? We serve it raw. What's a little salmonella among family? It'll be ready. We still have time. Oh, I'll get it. At noon, it all began. Yes, this was always yes. Dad's favorite yes. part of the holiday. Oh, Cousin Keith. Glad you could come. Another Watch year. this. Another uh, thanks. Keith! <laughs> Good to see you. Grandma's looking for you. <laughs> oh, gee, she's here already? Sylvia, another year already. Can you believe that? Sorry we're late. You wouldn't believe the truth. Check out that rug, I'm will you? Oh, boy. Sylvia, happy turkey day, darling. <laughs> I love what you've done with your hair. Joey again. What did he tell you? Mimi, you're looking well. Aunt Mimi, she's been in a bad Aunt mood since you. Eisenhower was here. <laughs> Doesn't talk to anyone. Aunt Mimi, darling, the life of the party. Can I take your coat there? <laughs> mm. I won't be staying that long. By one o'clock, our quiet suburban home had become a teeming hotbed of Anderson family rivals. Strangely enough, the only person who seemed to be enjoying the holiday was Dad. Hey, who wants cider, huh? Sylvia, love the sweater. You hand knit it? I wouldn't got it. Whoa, what kind of medication you got Dad on? Happy pills? No, Uncle Sammy never showed up. It's 2.30. He's not coming. <laughs> He'll be here. <laughs> Grandma, I love you, but you're delirious as usual. Come on, Lily. Get the kids together. Time for our annual turkey day touch football game. What annual touch football game? Who does he think we are? The Kennedys? Red, 21, green, 34, Army, Navy, around the sky. Whenever you're ready, Dan. Freezing. All right, cadets. Hi. What the heck is that? Hey, Dan. It's Uncle Sammy. He's here. Oh. Cool. Let's go check it out. Come on. What's Mr. Moneybags driving this time? Convertible? Sports car? Think bigger. High-priced German sedan? Stretch limo? Twin-engine turbo prom. What? Leave it. Sammy's here. <laughs> Louie, get my surface-to-air missile. Sorry, Dad. You know Mom and her stupid rules. No missile silos in the yard. I never should have agreed to that. Hey, Andy, happy Thanksgiving. Ah, oh, right back at you, Sammy. So, what do you think of my new toy? Eh, uh, I've seen bigger. Actually, Sammy, truth is, we're right in the middle of a little turkey day touch football game here. <laughs> Who do you think you are, the Kennedys? Postpone it. I was going to give the kids a joyride in the wild blue yonder. 
Well, you can ask him, but I really don't think anyone's interested. Hey, Buckle up, kid. Let's go. He's just buying their love. No one will ever accuse you of that. You got that right. You didn't want to go with them, did you? A private airplane ride around the neighborhood on a day like today? Nah. <laughs> I never seen one like that. It won't pop up. Maybe it's broken. Maybe it's stuck. Sammy's doing it again. He's taking over. Andy, try and be nice. He's just overcompensating. He doesn't have a family of his own. This is hopeless. Maybe you should send out. All these people are driving me nuts. Come on, Lowie. Army Navy games on. <laughs> Nothing more fun than watching a little pig skin with dear old dad. Huh? Right again, Dad. Where's your grandmother? In the kitchen. All right, all right, all right. Here's a fin, kid. Keep her there. What's wrong with the TV, Dad? Mr. Perfectionist all of a sudden, huh? Hey, hey, gobble, gobble. Happy Turkey Day, everyone. That's Sammy. Always Good to see you, sis. Sammy. How was your flight? On time. <laughs> well, wait a second. It's time for the Thanksgiving Day Parade. I sponsored a float this year. Yeah, sorry, Sammy, but we happen to be watching the Army-Navy game. Oh, that. Well, that's a delayed telecast from this morning. Navy wins by six. What? Come on, the parade. It's a Thanksgiving tradition. Don't you want to see my float? Sorry, Sammy. This TV plays football. Doesn't get parade. Plus, it's Veterans Day. Oh, so that's the problem. Why didn't you say so? I almost forgot I had this beauty in the plane. I'm bringing it back to the store, trading it in for something bigger. <laughs> but, Dad, we already know who won. Yeah, well, you don't know how many thumbos there were. Sit back and count the thumbos. Hey, you see that punt? Best punt ever, huh, Lily? Thank you. Hey, there's my float. Wow. My own little Brutus, huh? That too, Louie? That too? It's okay. We'll have something delivered. They're doing wonderful things with turkey pizza these days. You can't have pizza for Thanksgiving. Try the Chinese place. You have Peking duck instead of turkey. Take your seats, people. Let the eating begin. <laughs> oh, Grandma, I've been looking all over for you. Have a seat, son. <laughs> we gotta talk interest. You owe me five bucks, kid. Well, my Thanksgiving is ruined. Listen, buddy, no cracks about my hair, understand? I'm not talking to you. And I'm still not talking to you. Is there a worse seat at this table? Let's go, kids. Dinner time. All right, if you don't come sit down now, you don't get to hear me tell the story of Thanksgiving. <laughs> Finally, the meaning of Thanksgiving. Oh, boy, here we go again. <laughs> November 1620, Plymouth Rock. A sailboat, the Mayflower, filled with over a hundred brave little voyagers from England. The Pilgrims finally arrives in the New World. America, they're welcomed by the Patuxent Indians. Now, give it a rest, Sammy. Everyone knows the Patuxent were dead by 1620. Smallpox. Listen, Andy, I think I'm entitled to tell the story of Thanksgiving. Is that so? Well, not to get cocky or anything, but face facts. My family has simply been here longer than yours. <laughs> oh, really? Gather around, my little pilgrims. November 1610, Plymouth Reef. That's right, Sammy. Ten years earlier, that rock was still underwater. The Patuxent were still thriving. A Viking ship from Norway is lost in the Atlantic when it hits that reef and runs aground. Everyone is lost at sea. Everyone, that is. Except for one plucky Viking, Gunter Anderson. Stranded in a foreign land without any of his friends or family, Gunter has to start all over again. Ita. You in my day, the Yukta shit. That's Jolin's broken to her, eh? Kato! Mmm, Ipate! 
Herring. Herring? That's correct. Bushels of herring. Take a seat, kid. Plenty of room. Now, like I was saying, Gunter, the go-getter <laughs> that he is, is quickly mm, accepted by the tribe. Herring. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pretty soon, uh, our little Viking even finds true love. <laughs> and ten years later, guess who's there to meet your great 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 grandfather, Mr. Johnny Come Lately? Ah, trespassers. Uh, figures. Little Fort, get my musket. Gunther! That's the truth. Wow, no family of his own, but all the riches in the world? What a tragic figure that Gunther Anderson was. You're telling me. Now it's time to cut some turkey. I'll do the honors. Uh, I don't think so, Sammy. But I had a relative on the Mayflower. He was a deckhand. But I always cut the turkey. It's a tradition. Time for some new tradition, Mayflower boy. Listen to me and listen good. This is my turkey for my Thanksgiving at my house. If you want to cut a turkey, go get your own family. After that, it was like a nuclear accident. One long chain reaction. Look what you did. When are you going to pay me that money you owe me? Same day you stopped nagging me. The twelfth of never! Go ahead, say it. You think my wig's ugly, don't you? Don't you? Oh, nah, the wig's fine. It's the rest of you I can't stand looking at. It was an Anderson family meltdown. No there was nothing I could do until... What's wrong with this family? I saw the meaning of Thanksgiving oh go God. flying out the window. No. Oh. Hey! Well, this is where you came in. At this point, things took an odd turn. You think he's all right? There's a kid who really likes his pie. Uh, who can blame him? Have you tasted this? Mm. Oh, fantastic pie! Uh, Grandma, uh, about that money, uh, I'll get a check out to you the first thing in the morning. Don't worry Great about pie. it. Good pie. <laughs> and I've got 12 more in the kitchen. Uh, I never meant what I said about your wig. Uh, I mean your hair. No, you're right. It's time to stop hiding the real me. Ta-da! So, lunch tomorrow? Yeah, it's not a total loss. What are you talking about? Dinner's ruined. No, the TV just needs a new tube. And you know, I bet this turkey's still pretty good, too. Sammy, why don't you do the honors? Sammy? Where's Sammy? He's leaving. Why? Why? I don't know. I imagine he felt insulted. What? Ah, what'd you say to him, Grandma? What have I done? I ruined Thanksgiving. Andy, what are you doing? Just a little wing walking. Good for the ticker. I'm, uh, sorry about what I said back at the house. No, I'm sorry, Andy. I didn't mean to cut in on your family. No, that's what I mean. I was wrong. Whenever you want to borrow my family, they're yours, okay? In fact, if you ever want to make me a nice little offer for him. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> now you missed the best part of the meal. My wife's pumpkin pie. Lucky for you. I brought a piece. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> There's more back at the ranch. Let me in and uh, we'll turn this puppy around. Mind if I take the stick on the way back? I'll show you a few basic evasive maneuvers. <laughs> She's all yours, brother-in-law. Bogey at 6 o'clock! Bogey at 6 o'clock! On the following Monday, I gave my oral report. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the meaning of Thanksgiving! It was not a complete success. And so I was granted an additional two weeks to continue my quest for the meaning of Thanksgiving. I didn't know where else to look. After all, I'd asked my entire family, for Mama, it was pumpkin pie. For Dad, it was cutting the turkey. And for me, well, for me, I guess the meaning of Thanksgiving was that I had a family to ask. And for them, I'm thankful. Piece of pie, Principal Halloran? Mm. What do you say, Andy? You might want to straighten her out now. 
Uh, Andy? You're not having another one of those flashbacks, are you? Andy? Andy? Yeah. 